Ever thought about ancient dog breeds that have survived for centuries with unique traits and fascinating stories? Meet the Pharaoh Hound, a sleek, regal breed believed to be the hunting companion of Egyptian royalty. Then there's the wild dingo of Australia, known for its survival instincts and independent nature, a true testament to life in the wilderness. The Lhasa Apso, originally bred to guard Tibetan monasteries, combines an adorable appearance with a fierce protective instinct. The Shar Pei, famous for its wrinkled skin, was used as a guard dog and fighter in ancient China. And don't forget the Samoyed, a fluffy, smiling sled dog from Siberia, prized for its loyalty and warmth in freezing climates. These ancient breeds each have a story tied to survival, loyalty, and the special roles they played in human history. Ready to meet them? Let's dive in! Alaskan Malamute These are the largest yet oldest dog breed of Arctic sled dogs. They look like Siberian Huskies, they were initially used for hunting purposes, but later they also used to pull sleds even in extreme harsh weather. Alaskan Malamute used to protect their owners from bears. These dogs have also provided their services during World War II. Alaskan Malamutes show extreme affection towards their owner. They became friends to all the members of the owner's family. Their friendly nature makes them not so good guard dogs so you will barely see them as guard dogs. Appearance-wise, they have slight similarities with wolves. Pharaoh Hound. This dog is a great hunter dog and known to be one of the oldest dog breeds. Pharaoh Hound was initially used in hunting games. It is clear through various historical Egyptian art that this breed initially accompanied nobles and kings. Some artifacts from 4000 BC showing two dogs which look like pharaoh hounds are hunting gazelle. A lot of evidence is available which is enough to believe that this dog is one of the most ancient dog breeds that ever existed on the entire planet. This dog is also referred to as Tessum, which means tall pointy a dogs with triangular ears and curly tail. These dogs' ears and nose are glowing red in color and the ear vessels are clearly visible through our tosisi. These become bright red in color when the dogs get excited. Pharaoh Hound is declared as the national dog of Malta. People of Malta have so much love for this breed that they even honored them by minting a special silver coin. Canadian Eskimo Dog These are the oldest dog breeds of North America. If we must describe this dog in two words, it would be powerful and majestic. This dog is famous for carrying the heaviest weight and covering many miles. You can assume their power. Canadian Eskimo dogs are working dogs and almost thousand years ago, they were brought to North America from Siberia. Their joyful and curious nature makes them friendly with humans. In 1963, there were only Eskimo Canadian dogs left in the Canadian Kennel Club. After the dog's death, they were declared extinct. But later, a population of these dogs were discovered in the north. A breeding program was launched to save this dog breed, which turned out to be a successful one. But today, there are only 300 or less Canadian Eskimo dogs available. The efforts to save them are still going on. We can't say anything about whether it will be successful or not. Dingo. Dingoes are known as the King of Australia. This is a medium-sized canine with a lean body and pointed ears. Dingoes are symbols of stamina, speed, and agility. Interesting fact about dingoes is that they share some DNA with dogs and some with wolves. This is the result of interbreeding between domestic dogs and wolves. This must have happened a long time ago, but I don't exactly know how long. This is why Dingoes' barking style is quite different from all dogs. They like to howl like wolves rather than normal barking. They have three types of coats, tan or light ginger, creamy white, and black. Dingoes prefer to stay in one specific area rather than seasonal migration. Dingoes usually don't attack humans until provoked. 
but it is necessary to avoid them because they are dangerous and big enough to cause severe injuries. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, then stay till the number one and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It will only take 10 seconds. Carolina Dog They are also known as American Dingo. Carolina dogs evolved from pariah dogs brought to North America from Asia almost 9,000 years ago. In 1970, Dr. Lair Brisbane describes this breed in detail. Even though Dr. Lair was not the very first person who discovered this breed, but he sure is the one who share more details about Carolina dogs. But do you know that the name Caroline was given by the Dr. Lair? This is a pack-oriented breed, but they are also extremely loyal towards their owners. Caroline dogs are intelligent. They watch and observe the strangers very closely, but they never become aggressive until provoked for no reason. They don't show much affection or love to their owners. Their coat is dense yet short and can be black, fawn, brown, and reddish in color. Shih Tzu! Their history is ancient and controversial. This is one of 14 oldest dog breeds. It is also believed that some Tibetan monks breed this dog to give it to Chinese royalty. Some rumors were also circulated that this breed was produced in China by interbreeding between Peking Jis and Lhasa Apso. The dog was used as a companion because its nature is not like other hunting or guard dogs. It likes to be your companion and literally follows you from room to room. That is his favorite thing to do. You can easily make him happy just by giving him a little attention and affection. In return, he would do the same, and your lap will be his favorite place to sit. He will bark at guests, but soon become their friend as well as they enter your home. Don't fall for its cute hairy body because Shih Tzu has a muscular body. Shih Tzu come in various colors like red, black, silver, and white, red and white, and a lot more. Lhasa Apso You might get shocked by people in Tibet who used to worship this dog breed in 800 BC. Lhasa Apso gets its name from the city of Lhasa. These are small-sized dogs and can easily survive in different climates. Lhasa Apso is a brave dog. This is a thousand-year-old breed that used to serve at palaces and temples. The coat is silky and can be in red, dark grizzle, golden, sandy, and often white color. Their eyes are dark and their noses will also black in color. Lhasa Apso is a protective dog and loyal towards their family. These small dogs have sharp, alarming bark. Zoloids Quintly. This breed is one of the oldest dog breeds. Almost 4,000 years ago, the archaeological evidence found in Colima, Mexico looks like Zoloids Quintly. These are also known as the Mexican hairless dogs. Their name was derived from an Nahuatl language, meaning God of Lightning and Death. In the 1900s, this breed was almost extinct until in 1940 when one or the dog took part in competition. Only 30,000 of them are known to be alive worldwide. Ancient Mexican people regarded them as protectors and guardians, and they believed that this dog was going to save their house from evil spirits. It was also believed to bury the dog with their owners to show their soul's right path. Sharpei. Sharpei belongs to southern China. This dog is famous for its wrinkly appearance. This is a medium-sized dog with a short coat. The dog has shell ears, melon-shaped head, water buffalo neck, and horse buttocks. The head is larger than the body. This breed is nearly extinct. In the 19th century, there were some efforts made to save this breed from being extinct. Sharpei is known to be the most loyal and protective dog towards their owners. They use to protect the farmer's lands from various predators. Chinese Sharpei. These dogs are usually known for their loose skin, which makes them look like an old dog. This ancient breed has a unique black, blue-colored tongue. 
It is believed that their black blue tongue can ward off evil spirits when they bark. Don't know the reality behind it. This intelligent breed is fiercely protective and loyal to their family, which surely makes them a great guardian dog. Their calm and confident nature is also a sign because many people want to have them as their pet. They were originally bred by peasants for the purpose of guarding, herding, and hunting. The Sharpies are famous for protecting owners from predators as well as intruders. Their loose skin works as their protective shield, as it would not let any predators have a good grip on them or to cause them some serious injuries. Two kinds of Sharpies are present, one with the meat mouth and the other one as bone mouth Sharpay. Sam Oyed. This is a medium-sized dog with a thick double coat layer. The coat is only available in white color. They were initially used for herding and shed pulling. They have almond-shaped eyes that can black or brown. Their ears are triangular in shape with fur on it. The ear fur can have a brownish tint on it. Their tail is usually curved in shape and when they are alert, their tail will start touching the back. It truly originates from the Samyed tribe. It is said that they have similarities with Siberian Huskies, but their white coats make them more prominent. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of ancient dog breeds. We hope you enjoyed learning about these incredible companions with rich histories. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell notification so you never miss out on more amazing content. See you next time.